What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to Lou Rock TV. And today is Video Response Day. Actually, today is the first day of 2021. First video of 2021. But the reason I'm doing a VR today is because I realize the deadline for Jake the Ticket Leprechaun's video sub giveaway is tomorrow. And I really wanted to do this VR response and um, that's why I got up early this morning <laughs> from a late night the night before. And I'm gonna knock this out. So my goal was, uh, you know, I put out a lot of videos and I wanted to find cards I have not really talked about or shown on my channel. So I hope I accomplished that today. A lot of people know about, you know, my favorite car with the Cunha Auto, my son buying it for me on Easter. Um, a couple of the Clementes I have, but hopefully I can accomplish what I want with this VR and show you some new cards, some unexpected cards um, in my collection. So Jake, hope you like it. Go flip this camera around, baby. All right, and I'm back. Let me start with something a little unexpected, a football card. This Russell Wilson X Fractor, Tops Platinum. So a couple years ago, my son was like, "Hey, Dad, I want to get into cards." So I was super ecstatic. I was like, "Heck yeah, let's start this!" And uh, <laughs> you know, like most dads, I was all into it. You know, I want my son to enjoy the same hobby I enjoy. And um, you know, for his birthday, we bought him blaster boxes he wanted to do football because you know my main pc was baseball but um as soon as he was yeah dad i want to collect i gave him my whole childhood collection all my football cards all my Emmett rookies Dion's, you know because i wanted my son to enjoy the hobby and have something to talk about so i bought him top loaders i bought him you know pages for his binder mm -hmm. and the short of it is Luckily, he put stuff in the binder, but stuff was always on the floor. Drove me bananas every time to go tell him clean his room. I saw the cards on the floor. He just didn't really care for it. He just, I don't know. He lost interest. He was more into Pokemon. Um, and, you know, other things. Fortnite, Minecraft, whatever it was. So, I took it back. I bought him some computer game he wanted. I'm like, I'm just taking all the cards back. I'm going to take care of it. Fast forward to this year, and when Russell Wilson was, you know, I mean, he's still slinging it, but in the beginning, he was the, the favorite for the MVP. He's gonna get, he's finally gonna get his MVP this year. So it made me wonder, I'm like, I know my son's favorite team, still is, is the Seahawks. And I know about him some Russell Wilson's. <laughs> so I was rummaging through his little football collection. He had a whole bunch of good stuff because that was, that was a good year when he started was showing interest you know a lot of mike evans rookies odell beckham rookies um car rookies uh, Devontae adams rookies but this one was the one that caught my eye honestly i don't remember buying it i'm sure i bought it because i always buy some fly stuff but <laughs> he got so mad when i started looking up the comps on ebay i mean now people were offering you know 150 to 200 bucks for it um it sold high in the beginning of the year. It's come down a little bit, but still a hundred, hundred fifty dollar card, even raw. So I love this. <laughs> I love that story. He got so many. He's like, dude, can I get a percentage? I'm like, what's the percentage of zero? Because you know I'm not gonna sell this, son. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, that's the whole reason why. You know, I I wanted to give you my collection, and you just threw it all away. So now Bob. It's going to get the kingdom. Oh, yeah. All right. A second card of mine. Now, it's funny. I was rummaging again, going through a whole bunch of my old cards, you know, trying to reorganize my collection. And I found a whole bunch of, you know, 1,200 count boxes from when I was a kid. You know, I had names and drawings on the boxes and it just made me laugh and smile and reminisce. So I opened it up and I had all the team, I had all my cards filed by teams. 
I'm like, man, I'm, I was more organized as a dang 10, 11 year old than I am now. And I saw this card. This card brought me back so many memories. You guys are probably wondering like, what the hell? But I was a kid, look. I loved my cards and I had them in rubber bands. I used, I mean, I played with them. You know, these are my cards. I always looked on the back. And this is the first card I remember my mom buying me. Now, you guys know I love Kmart cards. Well, this was in a blister pack. It was, this was in the middle. And there was two other, um, I don't know, three, three packs. One, two, three. And you can see, but this card was in the middle. I'm like, oh my God. I don't know who Kirby Puckett is, but he must be the greatest player in the world. Because look at this card. They don't just do this for anybody. And um, I love this card. As you can see, I loved it a little too much. And, um, you know, that's how I, I, <laughs> I really do believe. Because I was bugging my mom. Mom, I want something. It was either a cap gun or candy and for some reason, I don't know, I think it was like a dollar fifty for the whole pack, you know. Baseballs were plentiful in the 80s and they were cheap. And me being the oldest of four, my mom was just looking for something cheap to shut me up. And she's like, what do you want? And I pointed this out, I'm like, I want baseball cards. She's like, okay. And the reason I picked out that particular pack was because of this card. I love this card. I, I always want to just display it with amongst all my other stuff, so I'll probably go and do that. It was fun finding that card. So that's card number two. And my last card, so this video isn't too long, is the one that started the madness of Roberto Clemente. I remember it was Christmas. We were driving to New York for family, and my folks brought one present for each kid so we could open it on Christmas Day in New York um, from them. And uh, it's a long trip, if you guys <laughs> don't know. It was like a 13 hour trip from where we were coming from to New York. And you know, between the bathroom breaks, are we there yet? I'm hungry. We kept on asking, can we open up our presents? Can we open up our presents? And my mom just gave in. She's like, whatever, just, if you want to ruin Christmas, just open it. <laughs> and the reason I wanted to open it so bad because I knew it was a baseball card because it was the way my mom packed it. It was like three 800 count or 1200 count boxes together. And then a top loader and the car just kept on doing this as I was trying to manipulate the package, trying to figure it out. And, uh, you know, this was... I remember my mom still to the station. Like, I can't believe I spent fifty dollars on a card. Oh my gosh! Maybe it was was it fifty? I think yeah. I'm pretty sure she still talks about it. She's like, oh my god. So that was the most she ever spent on a card, and it was for me. And uh, she went to the card shop, bought me this card, and I love it. This is the exact card I had. Santa three tops Clemente. Love this card. It's probably his least <laughs> desirable card just because of the photo 73 tops photos are not the best but it's his last card and i love it so that was the christmas yep i opened it up in the car on the way to new york i didn't open it on christmas day and uh my mom was like i hope you like it i wanted you to open it for christmas she was so mad <laughs> you said i could open it mom so i did but yeah that's what started the madness right there. 73 tops, Clemente. Love it. So, let me flip this camera around. Now, everybody, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Go sub my boy up. Um, hope you like the cards. Try to do something a little different. And that's it. Peace out. Go Yankees. Hell to the Empire, baby.